Now that our prints are complete, it's time to move on to curing. The majority of problems screen printers and their customers face is an ink stain on the garment, and the majority of those problems happen because of improper curing. If your ink does not cure from the top to the bottom, it will not stay on the shirt. Both inks that we printed today cure at 320 degrees. However, since they're made from different properties, they cure very differently. With both, you have to keep in mind that you cure the top of the ink to the bottom of the ink. This takes a little bit longer with inks that are thicker, stacked, and flashed, like our lava white ink and red ink that we printed before. First, let's cover HSA water-based inks. These inks take a little bit longer to cure because the water has to evaporate out of the ink before it cures. Using a flash dryer to cure water-based ink can be difficult, but you have to balance your heat and your time. When curing anything with a flash, it's important to remove the shirt from the platen and set it either on the platen or a different curing surface. This ensures that the heat can penetrate through the garment. If you leave it stuck to the platen, basically you have to cure the entire platen. That's very hard to do. When curing water base with a flash, I typically raise the flash three to four inches above the garment and I ensure that the design is fully covered by the flash dryer. Be careful there's no air movement around the flash as well. If you have blowing air, a fan, or a breeze, you will suck out the hot air from underneath the flash and your curing will not be consistent. As you see, the garment will start to steam. This isn't because of burning, it's the water evaporating out. The hotter your flash dryer is, the faster the cure will happen. You can use a temp gun to measure the surface temp of the ink. This current reading is about 350 degrees after a minute. It really depends on how hot the flash is, how much airflow you have, and how fast the water evaporates from the ink. A cure could take anywhere from 30 seconds to 2 minutes. Having a temp gun to measure the surface temp of the ink is what you need to do to ensure the cure. A water base you want to see steam is all gone from the shirt and the surface temp is 340 to 360 degrees to ensure the proper cure. You can also use a heat press to cure, but you'll need to add parchment paper or a Teflon pad to protect the ink and the shirt. Also, since a heat press doesn't let steam evaporate or vent, you might need a heat press in two steps. A conveyor dryer is a much faster and more consistent way to cure a shirt. When you start selling your screen printed garments on a wider level, I definitely recommend looking at a conveyor dryer. Today we're using a Hot Rocket XL conveyor dryer which cures effectively for water base because it has some airflow into the chamber. This is an infrared dryer which uses heating panels to cure the ink from above. Some of the more advanced dryers have airflow systems which helps them to achieve the ultimate cure due to the even heat, similar to a convection oven when baking. Since our dwell time needs to be longer for water base, I have slowed the belt down slightly and lowered the IR temp above to about 675 degrees. Our shirts sit in there for about 60 seconds and reach 350 degrees on the top. Convection gas ovens are the most production friendly and effective way to cure a garment. Like your home gas oven, heat moves throughout the oven. When you set your temp, you're actually setting the temp of the inside of the dryer. On an IR dryer, you set between 600 and 1200 degrees. On a gas oven, you set between 320 and 400 degrees. If you are concerned about being able to cure water-based inks due to only having a flash or a smaller dryer, you can always add warp drive in your ink. With warp drive additive, you can mix it in 1.5% by weight. You can basically dry your ink to the touch using a flash or a dryer and it will set within and fully cure within 48 hours. You only want to use as much as you need to print with because once you add warp drive in it, the ink only lasts for 24 hours. Be sure also to wait for 48 hours before you wash. Warp drive can speed up your production and reduce your power consumption. Plastisol ink cures the same way as water base, but it cures faster because no evaporation is needed. IR dryers are also an effective way to cure plastisol because they radiate heat down from the heating lens to the ink and transfer to the base layers of the ink bonding it to the garment. Keep in mind that the base layer of the ink needs to reach 320 degrees. This means the top layer of the ink is going to be hotter depending on how thick your ink is. Darker inks also cure faster than lighter inks. White ink, for instance, reflects the heat away and takes longer to cure. With a temp gun, I am letting the surface of the ink reach about 340 degrees with a flash. On the IR Hot Rocket, I'm going to speed up the belt and raise the temp to 750 degrees on the elements. With 30 seconds, our ink reaches 340 degrees and is most likely cured. Fortunately, there are three great ways to test your cure so you ensure your ink stays to your garment and doesn't wash out long term. First, a stretch test. This only works well on thicker ink deposits like our lava print. If you stretch the lava print and it stretches without cracking, you'd be pretty confident in the cure. However, if it cracks apart, it is most likely undercured, and you need to cure it again. Second is a rub test. You can take a small piece of white fabric and aggressively rub the ink. If you see a lot of ink start to flake off on your fabric, your ink is probably not cured all the way and you need to re-cure. Finally, a wash test. This is the most effective way, but it does take the longest. A wash tests the underbase as well as the overprint. 
If your ink goes through the wash and a dry cycle and looks fine on the other end, you can be very confident of a cure. Most inks recommend a wash test, but it's always good to do one before going into a lawn production run or if you're printing on something that you haven't printed before. 